Hey, Mel. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Okay. Cool. It's raining. Plant the seeds. You, uh, there's a jacket down in that shelter that you're going to. Put that on. It's a hunter jacket. It has better stats. So here's the thing. Here's what's weird. And I'm glad we can hear each other and I don't know why the reset matters. But I have been sick with the plague and eating and drinking and I've been fine. Like, I, I literally don't even care about my sickness. So uh, I will take whatever you can do to get me better, but we just found a noob way to manage. Is it in here? Yeah. Oh, that. Okay, so let me see what I got so I can try to understand this. So I have a hunter vest. Yeah. And it's wet. Oh, everything's wet. I rang... Oh, by the way, did you know you could wring your clothes out and get it down to damp? Yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, I discovered it yesterday, actually. <laughs> yeah, m me and my brother have been wringing shit out, but I've been kind of just dealing with it. So so let me ask. So, okay, so yeah, the... The problem is the bag the and the shoes cannot be wringed out. That's true. That's true. Um, but, I mean, I've been just wet continuously. Actually, let me just focus on planting these things first, because... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, now, uh, one thing... Jacket, one thing we really need is uh, blades. We've got... Uh, a look, uh, I was going to talk to you about that. Uh, if you look here, in vicinity... Stone knife. Stone knives. Oh, yeah. just use those. I didn't even think about... We did use those once, but... That makes sense, but we didn't have a pickaxe, so and we've been looking for actual stones. Yeah, so I know the the gravel the gravel road behind this forest, like in that direction, it's full of stones all the time. So you jump all the time, the okay. And you so we don't need map. a yeah, okay. Um, now it won't last as long as like knives or axes and shit yeah but it's free it will last for like four or five cuts exactly it's free and you can find them all the time because that is respawn really quick here you know what just just for exercise because my brother passed out we were playing for a long time um can you can you just run me there i mean i know where wait hang on yeah, yeah. wait hang on i got the map right here oh i see okay yeah 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 all right, so yeah, it's just up north from here, so like behind the tree line, that's where you'll find the gravel road. Uh, and at you the just at run the it and you can find like nine stones every run. Just so, me. so what about um, so, so in the direction I'm looking, I know where the two roads cross yeah. at a ninety degree. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it past that cross or is it is it that road? Oh, it's oh yeah that I, road. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Okay. That's good to know. That is now, and that yeah, knife, yeah. I know you can skin fruit and all that good stuff, but can you chop bushes? Yeah, I know you can't, ch I think you can't chop oh, yeah. trees. You can use it to, uh, uh, for example, t-shirts and pants. You can, uh, if you combine pants I'm, with a knife. You can follow you me, can but I gotta, I gotta go plant while it's raining. Yeah, definitely. Also, sprinting reduces food and water amount a lot. Yeah, I, I I did know that, but because we've had an unlimited amount lately, because of uh, because of this, um, to be honest, I just logged out and I was waiting for it to rain, and then when I logged back in, I had cool shit inside my I had cool stuff inside my boxes, and I'm like, he's got to be here. And I'm like, we don't. <laughs> this is I'm getting reverse rated here. There, it's it's got to be him. Someone is filling up the um, storage. Oh my god. Oh, wait. I missed it. Okay, so it's over this yeah. way. Well, that's the road. I was... Yeah, yeah. I figured it was because it's an undeveloped road. So I figured that was the one you were talking about. Alright, I think I backtracked a little bit. There it is. Are you still with me? Oh, yeah. Alright. I'm going to try to keep these separated. Um, well, first off, 
I gotta do now now on these peppers I don't want to eat these peppers I want to save the seeds I'm trying to gain over 40 seeds of each kind and I already have plenty of zucchini and I already laid fertilizer it's good on everything so I, I gotta ask how do you make uh, the plant material uh, you don't make it um, when you plant something um, and and you harvest it you can only harvest it once it's it's pretty much the same thing as steaks or anything else at least from what you showed me and once you harvest it it'll say instead of it'll say harvest food or whatever and then it'll say pull pull like p-u-l-l and when it says okay, that cool. i thought the plants would just be like growing indefinitely but when you pull them the only thing that comes out is one plant material and the plant material is 350 pieces and it's about four and a half plants you can fertilize but the fertilizer only saves two and a half minutes so like if you me and my brother load in and we want some free food all we got to do is plant this shit and it's 12 and a half minutes if it's fertilized i'm, I'm just going to plant the rest of these because it's raining and this is beneficial but, uh, dude, no joke, we're going to get 60 pieces of food. And I have not had it go bad in two hours' time. N none of it. And, uh, and here's the thing. I'm eating it raw. If you bake it, if you bake this, it's 250 calories per. Crazy. I'm telling you. So I did potatoes, zucchinis, and peppers. The peppers... They, they drain your water a little bit, and they raise your food by three. So, and I got myself throwing up because I was trying to gain water, and I gained too much food. The zucchinis are a good balance. The potatoes, because there's no such thing as potato seeds, uh, you have to peel the potatoes, and then boil them, and, and all this shit. And it's just too complicated for as little as it gives. So now me and my brother know that we're eating this stuff raw um, and baking it is wild, but we haven't done it because we've been trying to survive. Uh, me and my brother got attacked a couple yeah. times by non-players, by zombies and shit like that. And if, if we would have gotten, uh, if we would have bled one more time, one of us would be dead right now. Oh, okay. So we were just like, you know what? Let's just do it the hard way. Let's just do the raw stuff for right now. But I, I do want to say, and I don't know if you know this, and I'm not 100% sure. I've only seen it twice, and I could have been mistaken. But anything that is dried, I believe, has an indefinite lifespan, just like beef jerky. Okay. Yeah, it's close to indefinite. I mean, it was it was over two hours, and I was like, okay, this is the shit you want to take with. All right, so this stuff's going. Now, what I what I noticed, and you might know this too, but you see how right here it's a heavy dark spot in each of the spots, mm -hmm. like a bunch of water was dumped on it. Yeah, yeah. That's how you tell if there's enough water. So we originally oh, cool. we took your one canteen and tried to water this, but it can only water like uh -huh. two plants. And by the time we yeah. leave and come back, the plants are dead. Because you know how yeah. fast the steaks or whatever go from cooked well to overdone? Like, it's pretty quick. It's no. 20 seconds. Yeah, it's it's, the, like it's the same thing with this. So these, these plants, it takes uh, 12 to 17 minutes. I fertilized it, so it should be closer to 12. But like the plant material at your feet, there's no reason to save it because every one of these, when you have to pull it up, I mean, you may as well because it's not going to reproduce twice. That's what I've noticed is it's the same thing as steaks. So it won't re reproduce twice. You can pull it up. You get 350 pieces. You use about 80 pieces per plot again. So you really only need to harvest the plant material one out of three times and you'll have enough. Jesus. <laughs> So I've been practicing. I've been doing the best I can. And uh, to be honest, I told my brother, I'm like, my only goal is I just want to make you proud. I just I just want something. <laughs> I, I just want you to enjoy this. So like here, like I'm, I'm really on, impressed, man. 
Are you really? Yeah, yeah. I haven't gotten into this yet, like building or farming. None of that since I'm well, playing solo. It, so. It's funny because the professionals that I watch on YouTube, all these lone wolves, this is what I think I told you this, but the the super amazing lone wolf that I know, Toprek, T O P E R E C, he made a video about don't ever base build because it sucks. Yeah. And I was like, oh, cool. You know, I was just watching it. But then I saw someone else that base builds and they built a fucking city. And they have 28 yeah, people yeah. that guard it and everybody has money and everybody has everything that they want. And I was like, that's me. That's what I want to do. And I told you this. I, I told you, I just want, I just want to solve problems. So this is your spot. I have two questions. And I'm going to ask him individually, but before you noticed that I was on today, like 20 minutes ago or whatever it was, yeah. what of the things that I showed you did you find before I showed you? Uh, I found the second shelter. The one, on, uh, the one, the one that's on the upper side behind. or the lower side? Behind, okay. The upper side, yeah. Okay. But... Uh, other than that, I didn't really find anything else. So, like, we're in a really good spot, and I don't think, as long as we keep a low profile here, we're not in danger of getting found. Yeah. Not right now. So, like, we can build up a pretty great economy from this location. Like, I'm doing army raids all the time, going into the army warehouses and bringing shit and, like, rotating that way. And on that road, I'm also running by, like... Uh, these uh, greenhouses and shit. So yeah, like, that's where I got these seeds all the time. Yeah. And so also, I'm thinking about fishing a bit and uh, smoking them. So I'll be trying. I'm actually a bit impressed so, by this building. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find a pickaxe and break down stones and build us a permanent campfire. That's um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that here because nobody's first project is ever their greatest. So I like how things are oh. kind of spread out here, but I actually have a second location and it is slightly, um, Northeast of here, right next to a sec, a, a, a small lake that is almost entirely covered in trees. So we'll be able to fish in privacy. And what I would like to do is I would like to build a very small base, like really small, like one room and maybe a couple of barrels. And I'd like to be able to fish from there. Um, I could yeah, yeah. I could take you there, but I because I'm slow at this and I'm, I don't really know the map, I'd have to look at what me and my brother planned and then I could walk there. But I actually... I did a lot of learning today. Um, I learned what police buildings look like. I learned what piano rooms look like. I learned about a lot of iconic buildings because I didn't realize that this game uses the same buildings over and over. So, yeah, you know, exactly. I didn't know that. So when you said police stations, I was like, oh, cool. I can't wait to see a police station. But when I saw the building, I was like, oh, I've seen these before. I just didn't know what they were. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the rain has stopped. We don't need to stay here because now it's a slow growth. And um, probably a third of them will die because we're not constantly watering them, which is okay. But if you do me a favor, uh, what? One thing we can do to, uh, like, if it doesn't rain for a long time or if we want to save more crops, you know the gasoline tanks? You can actually empty those. And fill yes, them with water. me and my brother found that out, and we've been looking for jerry cans. But the thing is, it, it does rain often enough, and so far, not a single piece of raw vegetable or fruit has expired. Not a single piece. Cool. So, and it's actually kind of funny because you know how, like, um, the dried version, um, like of the dried version, wh what is it called? It's not dried of the steak. It's, uh, smoked. No, 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 not smoked. It was, um, it might've been dried. It was the jerky kind where you're like, yeah, that's yeah, still yeah. edible. I noticed that if you leave peppers out or, or, or any of these vegetables, if you just leave them on the ground, they become cured. 
and they have never gone bad. And I, I don't understand it yet. I've just seen it happen several times, and I'm like, all right, well, I guess that's that. Now, these five here... I think... Go ahead. I think if, you, if, they, if they're dried, like, you need to pick them up into your inventory... Because if they are left on the ground, that that's when they will start to rot. Yeah, if it so goes if too you far. Pick them up while dried. Yeah, that's when they will actually stay good. But I just noticed there's no work to it. You just leave them out here on the ground. So, yeah, like yeah. when you harvest these, it gives you one and it drops two. Unless your inventory is full, then it drops all three. So, like right here, these nine zucchinis. If these were already at the same time. It would be 27 pieces, but I'd only have nine in my inventory, and there'd be a bunch of peppers all over the ground. I have yeah. not had them go bad, and I thought they would. I thought that I was like, when I first did this, I was like, oh, okay, so all this stuff is going to go bad, and it has not. It never has. We've just, we've been slowly eating it, and it has replaced our water and food. It is time consuming. I will say that, which is why that house over here in the corner. I'm thinking if if us three were ever going to go on a raid, let's bake this shit. Let's cook it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and all of it's cookable. The potatoes, you cannot eat them raw unless you peel them. And even if you do, it doesn't really give you much. And the thing that's crazy is the potatoes are the hardest to grow. I had six potato plants, but it only produces one potato. And the plant itself is one potato. So I, I don't even really care about those. This, the zucchini is where it's at between these two, but uh, the zucchini is three sleep three slots, and you can eat it longer. The peppers are two slots, and you, it's really only two times you can eat it. The zucchini is almost four. So now, now seed seed wise, they're going to produce a lot. So this part's important. If you happen to get here before me, these five are peppers. I need all five of these skinned down to the seeds. I need to save the seeds. Okay. The seeds do not expire. And I don't want to lose them like I lost the potatoes. No, of course. Of course. So, but these zucchini, uh, one thing, this is... Mel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, the glow stick you have on your vest, take it off and like put it in inventory or throw it away because it's glowing outside and it acts like a target even though i didn't crack it yeah it has a small faint glow to it all the time so it uh, acts as a target for snipers okay <laughs> okay i'm glad you mentioned that because um me and my brother recently discovered that there's extra like we call them free spots like for the walkie talkies yeah, yeah. and but we put those away because we just didn't want to lose them because we were expecting to die so i've gone through 30 rounds of uh, 22 LR, and I'm so glad you told me what I did because three out of four of my hits were perfect if I was, if I was close enough, and even when shit got crazy, like, n n the zombies didn't flock us, and if we were firing loud, we would have been in trouble. Hang on, let me take this off. Yeah, like, when uh, whenever you build a fire, if there's items you don't want anymore, just dump them in the fire, and uh, you will get rid of it. Oh, really? Because I've been walking them, like, 200 meters away from the base and just dropping them. No, no, just drop them in the fire. <laughs> it's the same with guns or clothing, food, anything you don't want. Just build a fire, dump it in there, and it disappears uh, almost after, like, 10 seconds or something. All right, this is going to take about 12 to 17 minutes before the food's ready. Um, but I have, what do I have? Okay, so I don't have much food now. I'm just waiting on it. But I don't need it. I mean, I do have the, pl oh, this road is an excellent border. Are you with me? Yeah, it is. So, but we killed, um, we cleared, um, I forget the K, K name again, but the, the town closest to us. I Brody. Yeah, I, uh, him and I cleared it once, and then he did like a partial clear, and he was running water to me, but every time that he got back to me, it was raining. So it was like, well, yeah. he just did I nine. On this, on this server, it rains almost like every two hours. Yeah, so we, we might get lucky there. And all this stuff, like, 
we I figured you might use this the gas canisters and the gas stove that way it won't show nearly as bright as a fire so if you're out there by yourself then you can use that stuff oh you just oh wow combining it saves that much room huh yeah it does okay uh, the problem the problem with the gas can canisters and the gas stove is that we need a cooking pot. So if you find a cooking pot, hold on to it for your dear life. Cooking pot, okay. My brother mentioned that before, but we don't really know how valuable things are. Like, a lot of this, like, me and my brother were talking, like, you might see some of the stuff that we have and be like, wow, that's crazy. But then he was like, yeah, but he's probably going to see a lot of our stuff and be like, why do you have that? And I was just like, well, we're not doing anything anyway. Let's just take it all. <laughs> well, no, uh, currently, I can honestly <laughs> say I'm finding uses for everything. <laughs> you, up. Like, it, you can find uses for everything in this game. <laughs> but, as you, of course, some items have higher value than others. For example, the Blade Chief. That's actually a pretty lucky find that you have two of those. Yeah, we just found belt, another one. Attach. Yeah, when you find a belt, you can attach it, and um, then you have a free blade slot. Okay, so we need a belt. We were trying to figure that out. Now yeah, exactly. And uh, same thing, some armors. For example, a plate carrier I have, like the armor vest I have, you can attach uh, pockets to it. I so do. I, we do know that. Too. We've seen a couple of them before. We've never attached any, but we've seen the difference and looked up the difference. We just haven't seen it ourselves because we're in a noob area. So uh, obviously the the rates are going to be lower. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, another thing I discovered on one of the YouTube videos. Yeah. Is that you can actually use shovels and axes as well to uh, rip up rags to make uh, rip up <coughs> rags. And then you just disinfect disinfect the rags with iodine or with with uh, alcoholic tincture. Yeah, you gave me, and I still have a third of a bottle of iodine, which is in this yeah. thing. But we just didn't want to waste, and we did not have an axe for the first two hours. We couldn't cut anything, and we burned through our two scythes, um, which are somewhere. I don't know where they are. <coughs> But yeah, we've... I also dumped a fishing rod in... Uh, in that's this. what I, That's how I knew you were here. I'm like, okay, I know we didn't have this. <laughs> so, I know how to make a makeshift a one. Well. Yeah, and I have a hook. Um, actually, on my hat, and I don't really know how to remove it. But... Uh, it's the same <laughs> as with the, uh, the glow stick you had. The hat will have an uh, extra slot where the... Uh, fishing hook will be yeah but i drag it off and do what with it do i already have to have a rod to to do that no no you just put it in your inventory then you dig up a worm you combine the worm with the fish hook and then you put the fish hook on on, on the fishing rod and you save like <coughs> spaces by combining it into one piece. and then you just equip the fishing rod and go down to the lake fish like, you can fish without a worm, but it takes so much time. Well, I actually you, you I actually did that on. one time, and I spent maybe 20 minutes, didn't catch a thing, and I just assumed that you can't catch anything, because I had nothing. So I was like, alright. It's yeah, I mean, basically impossible. Yeah. So that was definitely... that was the, Oh my god! You just made a whole bunch of stone knives. Yeah. And there's five in the vicinity. Jesus. And a bait with a... Oh, it's gone. Nope. No hook. No, I have it in my inventory nope. right now. Nope. I'm combining it with the fishing rod, so... Um, what do you think about eating mushrooms? Uh, I haven't tried it, but, like... That's one of the reasons I want a cooking pot, because... From what I understand, eating raw mushrooms can get you really sick so far i've eaten 17 of them um and i can't say any of it was good because it gives uh, it drains your uh, uh or it gives you too much hydration and negative food and that's what made me throw up 
but I haven't gotten sick from it. Now, I am still sick, and I'm not really sure why, but I've been in the rain as much as I want to be doing this shit for hours, okay. and it still is not hurting. Yeah, and now I, I get it. Like, if I was battling people, if I was running out with you or whatever, it could be bad, but I will say that being in the rain 100% of the time has not been a problem as long as I'm no. home base building, you know? Yeah, and the thing is, uh, in this game, you have an immune system. So, like, if your yeah. food and your water is really high, then you're keeping your immune immune system in check. So you won't get. Oh, that makes off. sense. I'm and, keeping it very uh, I high. Have some, I have some antibiotics on me. I found a bunch yesterday. So you can take a couple and use that to reduce the uh, cold. Symptoms. The only thing I'm worried but about also. Is I'm kind of trying just same thing I want to do with you is I'm kind of funding my brother with all the stuff that we're finding and the shelters that we're building and I don't mind being sick the whole time so cure him because he got off because he can't stand how sick he is but I'm cool yeah. being in the rain building this shit trying to make it easier for us to collect everything when one day we might need it kind of thing you know what I mean yeah but uh, so for your in your case, like since you don't have the infection icon, right? Yes, I do. I've had like it for. Website. Oh yeah, yeah. You have it. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, okay. But it's like so... not doing anything. Like the, it, like right now, I'm at about half food, and I'm full on water. But as soon as this food is ready, I'm I'm not going to be below seventy five percent on anything for hours because that's how it's been, and yeah, we've okay. done it. I don't know why, but maybe it's because I'm eating vegetable. I don't fucking know, but it. Yeah, but anyway, like take take these uh, tetracycline and cure yourself because what you need right now is better clothing. So like the hunter jacket really? you put in the in the shelter. Yeah, you need insulation right now because what you have now is probably a cold. Even if because I'm there are different kinds of sicknesses a... here. What if I stay in the rain? Is is that not going to happen again? Uh, like, the better insulation you have, the slower your temperature will drop. But what you have to do is every now and then dry up by a fire. And as soon as you get the fire buff, uh, that's basically a small uh, plus sign on your temperature uh, gauge. So as soon as you get that and you have dried up you can actually go out and, and start doing stuff again because that means that your body is storing natural heat so you will stay warm for longer and then you just do it every now and then like build a fire with three small sticks warm yourself by the fire until the fire runs out and then go out and do your thing again so you don't have to spend a lot of time doing it you just really? have to do it every now and then yeah yeah i mean you remember I told you I've been playing this character for like three weeks and I've gotten sick once and that was from uh, food sickness and that was probably in the beginning like my first three hours of playing after that I haven't been sick once oh man I'm a professional sick person <laughs> yeah you know all about it now <laughs> <laughs> so that's the hunter jacket. Okay, so wait a minute. I have a hunter jacket and a hunter vest. You can do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can combine. You can combine oh, wow. layers. Everything that's a vest, you can put outside of your. Uh, okay. Like jackets and sweatshirts and. I tell you what. I need pants. So, I still have the spawn pants. Yeah, I see it. I see it, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a run down to the military station after I've eaten dinner. My girlfriend is almost ready with the dinner now, so okay. I'm going to log off a few minutes and then I'll be back. And I will make a run down to the army warehouse and try to find you a pair of pants. How long do you think you'll be gone? Like, like when you log back on to the point where you go there and come back, how long do you think that trip will take? Uh, one hour, maybe. Okay. All right, so... Maybe, I'm not sure. When do you think you'll be back? Uh, from dinner? Yeah. Uh, maybe an hour, from, like 30 minutes, 45 minutes or something okay. from now. 
All right. Oh. Well, I'll try to have food ready, just like your girl. <laughs> <laughs> How many of these tetras do I take? To... Just one? Uh, take them all until, like, make sure oh. you take them every time the pill buff is gone. You take a new one, and you just take all of them. Okay. Uh, uh, one thing I'm going to do now, you you know the raincoat you dropped? Yeah. I'm going to repair it and make armbands from it, so we can uh, identify each other. Me and my brother were talking about that, so please do that. What color is the raincoat? I didn't think it was vibrant. Uh, black. So it's a good color, black uh, raincoat, so it will be black armbands as well. Me and my brother were talking about the fact that when you met us, I had a purple jacket and he had an orange jacket, and you probably hated that. Yeah, <laughs> and you had a yellow, you had a yellow construction. Helmet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's basically a shooting target. <laughs> yeah, I know, and we were just like, well, there probably weren't any enemies around if we didn't get shot at. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, me and my brother were talking about armbands too because it's, you know, since we don't have you on Discord or anything like that, like there's no way to tell what's going on. Luckily, you look the same, so you didn't upgrade anything or change anything, and you look the same. Uh, that's a Colt. So oh, there we go. So okay, so I'll take the second one for Sal, and you're t you're taking one, yeah. Yeah, I've taken one. So like the others, we should get oh. rid of, like burning a fire or something, so that no more people will find them. Yeah, okay, but so... You can I'm send wearing... me a link on Discord. Uh, send me a link to Discord on Steam or something, and we can add each other. Well, I did send you a friend request on Steam, and I think because you messaged me back, that means we are friends. Um, but Discord is a way that we can talk when you're you know, not too far from me. So, or the walkies. I mean, we got batteries. I just need to know how to use them. So, I've got... Yeah, okay, so... Is fine also. Okay, yeah. If you got Discord, then... Uh, um, I'll text you on Steam what my Discord name is. And then you could just send a friend request. And if you're on, then we'll, you know, we'll link up. So, I've got one for my brother. Let me see where I... Uh, let me put this in the, in the first bin, because that's our... Oh, I guess I can't. All right, so I'll send it. And the third one, the second one is kind of like garbage stuff. The one up there behind me, yeah. that one's just like, why, why not keep it if I can build it? Okay. All right. So you're uh, you're heading out for now, yeah? Oh wait, wait. We need the vegetables. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can take off. I mean, I'm, I'll am i gather the stuff as usual and figure it out. Oh, you made a bunch okay, of bone yeah. hooks, too. Cool. You can use the stone knives to dig up worms as well. So, like, every time you need to do something like dig up worms or crack... Use the stone knife. Whatever, just, yeah, exactly, because they don't break down. And the real knives we use for, like, stealth-killing zombies. Yeah, we burn through two sides... Um, a hatchet, a steak knife, and um, and a full blown axe, defending um, defending ourselves and cutting stuff down. But we didn't have any choice. Uh, at least I didn't know that. So we learned about the knife yeah. a little bit late, and uh, we made one and just didn't use it again. But I thought you needed a hoe for uh, uh, worms. I didn't know you could use no, anything no. like any. Any kind of tool you can use to dig up worms, basically. Okay, well, food is ready, so I'm gonna go eat, yeah. and then I'll be back. I'll see you. I'll probably be here before you, you before you get back, uh, just collecting food. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, man. I'll see you. Cool. See you later. Bye. <clears throat> this is my chance. This is my chance.
Mm-hmm. 
No! <laughs> 